What's going on, B? We welcome you to the Organo I family. It is time for evolution. So, in today's video, I have a art tutorial on how to make skies. And so, we're going to be using copy markers. So, and, and also one Ohuhu markers. So, the type of markers that I'm going to be using today is the, um, the B00, the, the B00, and the B00 one and b02 so these are the type of markers i'm going to be using you can uh, pause the video if you want to do that and then we're going to be using a hoo hoo a cg2 so you know you can pick any light gray color if you if you want uh just make sure it's just it's, it's just uh a light gray color so this is the a hoo hoo marker if you want the the copic marker similar or the, something that's similar to the copy marker you would use uh, uh, C2 so right for a hoo-hoo this is CG2 uh, C3 for copy is much darker so if you have a copy get a C2 or so you know but just get you, you can use any any uh, any gray color just make sure it's like a, a light gray color and we may use this later on but you know we'll see how it goes but yeah we're gonna be using these mainly these uh these five colors right and so for for this we're going to start off with b000 and with b000 it's it's a uh it's much lighter you know it's a it's a bit of a light touch to it and also when you're when you're coloring the sky so first off i'm using a uh a sketch so first off, I'm using a, a sketch marker, so it's like a, you know, a brush in a sense. So when you're you, when you're doing the sky, you want to have it go into you know one motion, because it it copic markers or alcohol markers tend to keep track of the the pass. Uh, it, it tends to keep track of your streak, your your strokes, you know. So to make it less visible, you know, just have it, you know color your copy markers like this you know and also I'm using printing paper you may want to get some uh, uh, if you're doing some serious artwork you may want to get uh, um, copic or alcohol or something just the uh, stronger paper stronger paper uh, compared to uh, printing paper so yeah we're gonna start off with that And so, like, we're, we're just starting off with the light base so that we can uh, transition. Uh, this won't this won't really have a uh, much of a I guess it, it shine. This this code won't this color won't have much of the shine. But when we go to a uh, B B uh, B zero zero, you know, there's a difference between uh, you know these two. You know, this is a, a much lighter compared to this. So we're gonna. Do this, apply this, and you know, just add a transition. And, and notice how long strokes are, you know, they're usually, you know, rewarded, you know. It, it blends well compared to if you just made the uh, tiny strokes like this you see how it's like keeping track of the stroke so you want to you want to aim for uh, much longer more uh, confident strokes you know and so if you want to blend blend your pe your previous color like this you know just to have it blend a bit more more easy and so that's our base okay The next color we're going to be using is B01. Okay, so B01, we're going to use this to, uh, again, do the same exact thing, but this time we're going to use this to make the clouds, you know, outline the clouds, you know. And so let's 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 do that. Let's do that. Let's make some clouds.
And so make your clouds like this. So clouds tend to have uh, shapes that go in this motion. So if you come here, if you look at the side here, so the clouds tend to have this, uh, you know, this kind of curve, curve based motion, you know? So that's pretty much what I did right here to outline the clouds. All right, so we're going to blend this, blend these uh, clouds together. And with uh, B, B01, you know, the same thing that we use to outline the clouds. So yeah, so let's, let's do that. It gets darker at the top and it gets so dark at the top if you keep going to the top it's going to get even darker if you go if you're if you're uh i guess in a, if you're in a rocket and you're going get in, into space it just keeps getting darker and darker so yeah you, you know transition it from from light to dark and so right here there's a little you know little sh uh, streak here so we're just going to blend this we're going to use the previous color uh b00 we used b01 before we're gonna use the previous color and then we're gonna blend blend this together. And so what we're gonna do now with this color, uh, B0, uh, B00 is just uh, make uh, markers as to where we want to place uh, some of the uh, the grays at the bottom. So it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be there's gonna be shadow at the bottom of the clouds because the, the sun is beaming at the on the top of the clouds. So the shadow is going to be hiding, you know, near the bottom of the clouds. So so yeah, so we're gonna just make a little. Uh, markers with this color, a light color. All right, and so, and so, I added I added shadows using this this or indicators using this so I can apply my light gray color and so I, I did say before that you know uh, the shadows are going to be below the clouds you know but uh, there's also cast shadows you know there's also cast shadows and the cast shadows order are the you know are created from the bumps the curves within the cloud so you know when you look at a cloud you'll see there's there are like bumps inside you know so, and so those bumps are casting the shadow so there's a there's a perspective uh, being uh, put into play here you know so well, let, let me say this for example you know I, I, I applied my shadows I applied my shadows right here right I did say to you know apply shadows like because the sun is beaming at the top right and so the, the other shadows that you see is like due to the uh the curve or the, the form uh the, the curve that's forming there's an extra there's an extra circle you know so we're not just looking at you know the outside so there's an extra curve right here right and so because of this because there are, there's a curve inside the cloud Right now, we're going to add this cast shadow, a shadow of this curve, you know. So just, you know, just look, look into it more, you know, look into it more. So, 
you know, when you're doing your cloud studies, look at real cloud, see how it works. So yeah, light is coming from, from above and we're doing the shadow in the, in the bottom. So, so yeah, we're going to use this CG2, you know, use it again, use any gray color, light gray color. You can use CG, CG1 or, you know, if you're using copper, C, 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 C what was it? C, yeah, C2 or C3. I mean, no, no, not C, well, if you want to, but yeah, C2 and C, C1, but use a light color, you know? And, and also, again, it's up to you. It's up to you. This is, this is just my personal, uh, this is what I like. You know, a light color gray. So, yeah. We're going to apply the shadow. Alright, so I've decided to change my mind and use CG1 just because it's lighter. Maybe I'll use this, you know, later on. Uh, CG2, but I'm using CG1. This is from the... Uh, touch bowl brand and so if you just if you so desire you could just finish it off with the with the C C G one, and so one more thing I forgot to uh, I forgot to uh, to to draw was apply the the B zero two. Now the B zero two is going to make the, the sky a bit darker. So you apply this uh, around the the top section of your clouds. All right, and then after that we're gonna. We're going to just blend these uh, together using the mix of different colors, you know, just so that we have a, a good blend. So yeah. Alright, so this B02 has been applied. Now I am going back to use B01 just so I can blend it. And you want to apply these, you know, when they're not being dried out. When they're more, you know, when it's, when it's not dried yet, it's easy to blend. So, yes, we're going to use that. Alright, so now we have successfully blend the sky. And so I'm sure you can make a much more, you know, better sky or better, uh, you know, cloud. You could go more in detail, you know, take your time to, you know, make uh, the clouds the way that you want to make the cloud. This was a quick, uh, a quick tutorial. And also, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. So if you, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, enjoy making those happy clouds. Peace.